it was about five years ago, I had a lady contact me. She dreamed that she was in the hotel at the current time. And she says that in the dream, these people started walking in and they started standing around her bed. Since the tragic fire and the reopening of the now Ellis Hotel, the hotel is rumored to be haunted. The general history of the fire, it kind of suppressed it to a certain extent. I mean, if somebody asked about the fire, they will give them basic information. And then if they, if they want to learn more, then they give them my business card. The Weinkauf Hotel opened in October of 1913 and was one of the tallest buildings in Atlanta. And it was said to be absolutely fireproof. This hotel was misinterpreted as being the safest hotel in Atlanta because of that label. The reason why it was called absolutely fireproof is because when it was built in 1913, it was made out of concrete and steel. The hotel's claims were proven wrong on the early morning of December 7th, 1946, when it was engulfed in flames, killing 119 people. I mean, the fire started sometime in the, in the morning of December 7th, um, in the middle of the night, sometime around 3.30. An African-American elevator operator named Rosina Neal, who first detected the fire, uh, she uh, was going down in the elevator, and in the elevators back then, they had a little window that you could see through each floor as you were going down. And she saw a flickering of fire on when she got to about the fifth floor, and I'd say about 30 or 40 of them died from physical trauma. The rest uh, died from, you know, they say, you know, they burned to death, but technically they, most of them died of smoke inhalation first, and then they burned. Two guests have reached out to Chet Wallace to share their experiences during their stays. It was about five years ago I had a lady contact me. She dreamed that she was in the hotel at the current time. And she says that in the dream, the door was over here to the, to the entrance to the room. These people started walking in and they started standing around her bed. She says that there was an African-American lady who was sitting on the foot of the bed looking at her in kind of a sweet, caring way. And I immediately, I think, of Rosie and Neil. I had another lady contact me. Now, she dreamed that she was in the room and these people came into her room standing around her bed. She said that the people started closing in on the bed. They st stacked their hands on top of one another. And she was trying to rise from the bed and they pushed her down. I decided to experience a stay here for myself, so I booked a room here at the Ellis Hotel to see if I experienced any spooky or paranormal activity. Prior to my ninth stay, I reached out to a medium to request their service for a mediumship. Anna Witten is a psychic medium, and she says she has always been able to communicate with the dead since she was a child. Here, Anna is performing a ritual to invite spirits into the room to tell their stories. When I started that and I was facing that direction, then I, I, I saw someone come in and, and this person, to me, I feel like is female and, and not very big, not a very big person. She's telling me she crawled under the bed. Okay. Somehow she thought she'd be safe under the bed. She died under there. She, uh, that part, it's almost like she doesn't have a memory of it, or like the suffering or anything with it. It's almost like she, maybe it was, I feel like it was smoke. I feel like she, she blacked out. All right, everyone, so I am here in my hotel room here at the Ellis Hotel located in Atlanta, Georgia. When I first arrived, I walked into the lobby, checked in, and came up to the 11th floor where my room is located. So tonight, I will be staying here. I will document everything. We will see what happens. Wish me luck, say your prayers, and I'll be back. My wife joined me for my overnight stay. She easily slept, but my sleep was short because I couldn't immediately go to sleep. I didn't experience anything spooky. Instead, I felt an energy. Some will say that this hotel is haunted, while others may disagree. 
From my experience, I can definitely say that this building has history and there is most certainly a presence. The presence isn't haunting, but a presence is definitely there. The fire and the 119 lives lost will never be forgotten, and I don't think the loved ones or the lost lives will allow that to happen.